Using templates in Ableton Live can quickly speed up your workflow, whether you're working in the studio or the stage. You could quickly create a song using sounds you've already chosen. You could quickly program a song and quickly build a set that you can use on stage. And there's some really cool features in Live 11 that allow you to save templates that you can get access to very easily and quickly in Live. So let's dive in and take a look how to do that. Now, essentially, there's two different types of templates I can create in Live. So if I open a new Live set, there is a default set that that loads in live uh, by default this is two midi tracks and two audio tracks um, but let's say i want this to load every time i open live i want it to load with um, let's go to drums here let's do a 909 kit let's say i want it to load with an instance of wavetable um, and then let's say we have no audio tracks if i want this to be my default set i could go up to file and i could do save live set as default set Okay, and we'll call this, um, let's call this uh, song creation. Okay, so now let's open a new live set. I'm going to do command in, don't save. And you'll notice when my live set opens, it loads with uh, this brand new template that I just created. Again, preloaded, ready to go, 909 core kit and wavetable every time I open Ableton Live. Now, that's super helpful if you're doing this in kind of a mono context thing. You're, you're only using this in the studio. And every time you start a song in the studio, you start with the same things. That's super helpful. But sometimes that's not incredibly helpful because you're doing this in different contexts. Okay. In that case, you want to use this other feature of Ableton Live. So let's get rid of this now. And let's say that I want um, uh, to use, for example, let's 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 do something that I do often. Let's go to templates here. I have this free tracks template that uh, I use to format sets and to build songs with. Now to get this same exact tracks template that I'm using here, you can head to from studio to stage.com slash template. You can download it for free, use it to format your songs, build sets live on stage and save so, so much time. But I'm using this template often. I don't want to have to go to find this on my computer uh, and find it, drag it in. It's just, just a real pain to do that. I want to always have access to it. So this time I'm going to go up to the file menu and I'm going to do uh, save live set as template. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to save this as free tracks template. Okay. And then now let's open a new live set and we'll talk about how to change this uh, back to what it was in just a second. Um, so this is open our default set that we have here. But now we can go uh, one of two places. We can go to user library here and select templates or even easier than that. We can go to this templates feature here and all of those templates that we created um, are now saved uh, in lives library. So we could see free track template. This is what I had before. I can access this directly from the templates feature. Uh, this is going to save me so much time because I always have access to it right here. I don't have to worry about finding where that is on my hard drive. I could save it and quickly get access to it. And then I also have that song creation template that uh, we had access to earlier. That's my default template, which is great. So if I want to open my free tracks template, I can double click and open this. Or if I want just to open a normal live set here, I can click and drag uh, content from that template into this template, which is really great. Now, finally, let's talk about how to change our default uh, template back to uh, what it should be. So uh, if I go here to default live set, I double click. Let's do don't save. This is what this template looked like by default, right? This is what uh, I want to go back to. I want to get rid of the song creation template. You could tell that this is my default live set by this little checkbox here, right? That's next to it, uh, which is a nice feature. But I want to go back to this. Now, there's two ways I could do this. I could go back up to the file menu and I could do save live set as default set. But this is a lot faster and easier in Live 11 now. I can right click on this default live set and choose set default live set. You'll see the check mark goes with that now. And now uh, let's open a podcast template. All right. And now let's open a new live set command in and you see we're back to that default template. So again, using templates in Ableton Live uh, 11 allows you to work really quickly, whether you're in the studio or the stage, you could create multiple templates based on your context and save them and access them from the templates area of Live's browser. If you want uh, more tips and tricks like this, uh, learning how to use Ableton Live uh, on stage or in the studio really quickly and efficiently, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, and once you subscribe, hit the bell icon because I post a 
new video every single day, Monday through Sunday, 10 a.m. Central. There's a new piece of content that goes live on the channel. I don't want you to miss any of it. It's all completely for free, and it's all going to help you learn how to use Ableton Live more efficiently and with more flexibility and in a way that's stable. So if you want to see that content, make sure you subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next video, and if I don't see you then, uh, then the day after that at 10 a.m. Central. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.